John Beckman, Alabama U.S. Senate GOP primary candidate. Um, let's have a sip together. Simultaneous citation to the simultaneous sip from Scott Adams. Everybody get something to drink. Okay. So today I'm going to make some predictions. Um, I'm going to talk about offense. So I've been going on the offense on Twitter. Um, I've been, I've been, go I've, to be honest, I've been, I've been going on the attack. Um, and some people are wondering, well, what, is it, is it mean? Like, how should you approach campaigning? How should you approach uh, interacting with your other opponents? Because in the end, we want a conservative to win. So how should you approach offense in a primary campaign? Um, and so let me just ask some questions. So did Donald Trump go on the offense in the primary? Yeah, he was, he was ruthless and he, he won. So I'm, I want to win. I'm in it to win. I'm not in it to lose. And, uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the offense. I'm going to do what it takes to, to win. Um, so let me ask another question. Is it okay to go on offense against Democrats? So you maybe maybe you're not quite at the point yet where you agree with me that it's okay to go on offense against other Republicans in the primary. But do you agree that it's okay to go on offense against Democrats who are our political opponents? Is that okay? Okay, now let me just throw this out there. Bradley Byrne was a Democrat. John Merrill was a Democrat. So I'm going to go I'm going to go on the offense against these people because they their their conservative bona fides are not are not true. Also, um Burn attacked me on Twitter, so I burned him back. So it's like if somebody if somebody does something to me, if some I'm the type of person that if somebody punches me, I'm going to punch you back. That's just the type of person I am. So if, if when Byrne attacked me on Twitter, there was a person who tweeted uh, basically an attack that he was quoting from one of his campaign stumps about me. And I'm going to burn him back. I'm gonna, I'm, so I started, I started a hashtag, badly burned. Okay? So if you, if you want to attack back, you can, you can make a funny joke and you can hashtag badly burned for Bradley Byrne. Okay, let me, let me make a prediction. Um, so they're going to start to say some things about me um, because of my campaign style. The first thing that they're going to start to tell you is that they're going to say, I'm not, I'm not a serious person. I'm not a serious candidate. Okay? And that's the reason that they're going to say that is because I put out multiple movies at the same time. So every day, my campaign strategy, every day I put out, I put out at least two movies. Okay? In the morning, I do a serious policy discussion on Periscope right now where I can interact with live viewers. I can answer their questions and I can talk about what, I, what I'm standing for. Okay? So this is the serious place where you get to interact with me one-on-one. -on -one. And this is kind of like our little inside team space, okay? So like this is like where we can interact as a team. This is where we can plan. But then there's a whole nother side of my campaign, okay? There's a whole nother side where I'm using humor. I'm using like I'm drawing attention. I'm going out of my way like pro wrestling style to put out outrageous movies to, to draw more people into my team, to draw more people into the campaign. And they're going to look at those movies. Since I have these multiple movies, they're going to only selectively look at the, the, the funky artistic ones. And they're going to be like, look, he's not a serious candidate. He's not serious. But I'm just telling you, between you and me, that like they just don't get it. They don't get it. Those are This is where I'm serious. This is where I'm serious. Those ones are for bringing out and attacking, going on the offense, and bringing attention to the campaign. That's the whole purpose of that. So we can be in on the inside jokes. It's a, it's a little funny. But I'm putting out multiple movies, okay? The other thing is that, so Alabama, Alabama's very, very unique in its politics. Alabama likes larger than life personalities. So K Governor Kay Ivey is very, very much the epitome of this. She is a larger than life personality. And if you have ever heard her speak in person, Okay, she is like the alpha in the room, and that's what Alabama people like. That okay, so don't tell me like they should. My opponent should not be telling me like to tone it down. Okay, because 
that's not what the people of Alabama want. The people of Alabama want a little bit of a show because, I mean, the, the funny thing that people don't understand about the people of Alabama, outside, outsiders, what outsiders don't understand is that the people of Alabama have a fantastic sense of humor, okay? And we, we get the inside jokes. We get the, we get the little political jokes, okay? So, I mean, take it with a sense of humor. That's, it is what it is. They're also going to say, okay, so they're going to say, oh my gosh, it's, it's flipped. It says, they will say, Beckman is not serious. That's one thing they're going to say about me. The other thing that they're going to say about me is basically, they're going to try to put me as like the absent-minded professor. Like, I'm not really conservative because I'm a professor. But let me just tell you that Ben Franklin was originally a professor, okay? He founded a university, University of Pennsylvania, okay? Ben Franklin, a founder, okay? Thomas Jefferson, a founder, wrote the Declaration of Independence, founded a university, okay? Was a university professor, founded University of New Gen Virginia, okay? Newt Gingrich, the great Newt Gingrich of Newtonian conservatism, okay? Newt Gingrich was originally Professor Gingrich, okay? And Newt was the great philosopher planning the strategic advances in the 1990s of the conservative party, okay? We need more people like that. So they're going to try to label me as like an absent-minded professor. He's not serious. He's not really conservative. But I'm just telling you, that's not true. I'm just smarter than them. I'm, I have everything that they have except I'm just smarter than them. And that's why I'm a professor. So let me just say, uh, I, can, I can button up on Sunday, okay? I can be professional when I need to be professional, but I can also be artistic when I need to be artistic and I can go on the offense against my opponents. Okay. So let me just set, let me just ask you to do something. Okay. So set a value in your mind at, at, at some point you're going to start to see that I'm a serious candidate. Okay. So what you need to do is you may, maybe you're not at that point yet. Maybe you're not ready yet to commit to the seriousness of my campaign, but Set a value in your mind. So just look at my Twitter following. I just started it, okay? And it's starting to snowball. It's starting to get bigger. I'm already almost past the Arnold Mooney guy who's like way, way below. He's, he, I'm going to pass him very, very soon. So set a number in your mind. Pick a number and say, okay, he might not be serious now, but when he gets to this point, I'm going to start taking this guy seriously. So set a number in your mind. When I hit that, because I will, then you can start taking me seriously, okay? So if you like the videos, go, you can go to eaglewolfpack.com. You can go to my YouTube channel. There's a link there. You can watch all my videos. I archive them all, all these morning sessions. All my policy points are archived on YouTube and organized on my website. Um, I have a fantastic new video. I'm picking you for the team. Okay, that's one of my most artistic movies. It's an awesome movie. Go to my Twitter. Go to the top. Watch it. If you like it, give me a share. Uh, and you can follow me. You can share. You can like. You can go to eagolewolfpack.com. Don't donate to my campaign because I'm going to be the first candidate in U.S. Senate history who wins by himself as a one-man team with no donations. So I'm specifically saying don't donate to my campaign at eaglewolfpack.com. Instead, take that money and go buy a beer. Go buy a beer and have a drink on me, okay? And then vote. But I am asking you to vote. Vote on March 3rd in the primary for Alabama GOP party. Vote for me, Professor Beckman. Woo!